So they said my condenser was leaking air fluid into the car. I, I don't know. I basically said, here's some money, fix whatever. I don't know anything about cars. They could have told me the Johnson rod was bad and I would have paid them to fix it. That's Now this might surprise you, but I also would never ride a motorcycle because I'm afraid and I have no balance. So Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com. And today we're going to look at a small little PowerShell snippet to help us determine if uh, out-of-box experience is running so we know uh, whether to run something like a script from the toast thing from yesterday or an application. So uh, this will be a short one, but I've been getting a lot of questions about it. So here we go. Long story short, uh, I got to go back next week uh, for cavity in the front. Get Rubik's solving for the modern workplace. Okay, so one of the main questions I got after yesterday's video about the Toast notification during uh, the autopilot provisioning was how to only run it for devices that are going through the UBI. UBI is the out-of-box experience, and it's what happens when you're going through uh, the autopilot provisioning process. So there are certain times you might want an app to only run during that process, so like this, an out-of-the-box new device, or you might want an app not to run until we're way past the out-of-box experience, like on the desktop, just like this one. So the real question is, how do we determine where we are to the app, right? Well, the best way to do that is by querying for a service. So if you take a look here, I'm going to say get uh, process. I said service, it's really a process. So we're gonna get a process. What happened here? Oh, not PowerShell. I'm gonna open up PowerShell. And we're gonna say get process where the name is security, security health sysTray. Uh, and I can't find it um, because it's not running. It would probably be better to just do the error action finally continue. Yeah, there's no process there because this process is not running. Now, why is that important? Well, if I flip back to a device that is at the desktop and I run the same thing, get process name, security, health, sys tray, error action, same thing, silently continue, you can see a process comes back. So it's not really important what it is, but it's important to know that this is kind of the binary indicator. If the value is there, we are at the desktop. If the value is not there, we have a device that is in this state, which we call UBI, out of box experience. Um, so let's use that to our advantage. We're gonna go back for a minute and uh, we're gonna take a look at our Toast solution from yesterday uh, that we did. So we don't really have to edit the package itself, but we do wanna add a requirement. So I'm gonna add the file here and call it requirement ps1 and if you recall we've done custom uh, requirement scripts before this one's very very simple so we're basically trying to return uh is ubi or is not ubi so the way we do that is we're going to set a variable for this process we're going to call it get process name uh security health sys tray and of course we'll set the error action to silently continue so if the process comes back and it's not equal to null, yeah, I know that should be reversed. I just don't like to do that. If null is not equal to process, either way, um, doesn't matter. If the process is not equal to null, it means something is there, um, which means we are not in Ubi. So we're just gonna say right output not dash ubi else if it comes back and it is null we know we're in ubi right now put ubi very very simple there's not a whole lot going on here in fact in both cases we can exit with no error okay so that's it what i want to do here is i can use this two ways so first way 
Uh, let me go back to the toast notification from yesterday. So toast, I only want to run if I'm in Ubi. I don't want to run at the desktop. I don't want to affect any current fleet devices. I only want to apply to brand new autopilot provision devices going through the out-of-box experience. So I'm going to edit requirements and we're going to add our script that we just made. File. Uh, oh, sorry, script. Script name, I'm going to call it UV. Uh, I'll say require UV. And for my script, I'm just going to go hit requirement and you can see it process the script. I'm going to leave these all on no. Um, what I am going to do though, is I'm going to set my requirements. So the output I'm looking for in this case is I want it to equal Ubi. So if the output equals Ubi, run the script. And if not, it'll just show it's not applicable. And that's how we make sure this will only apply to autopilot provisioning devices, right? Now, what happens if we have the inverse, right? So for example, let's take an app like Adobe Acrobat Reader. Now, for some reason, maybe I know that it throws off my autopilot provisioning ESP. I don't want it during Ubi. I only want it to, device, to devices during the out-of-box state. Um, this would be a good time to do the inverse. So I'm going to edit the requirements and I'm going to add my script again. Only this time, I want to say um, Ubi, Ubi, gonna sound weird the more I say it, Ubi not required. Anyway, I'm gonna use the same requirement script, um, but I am going to say string is equal to not Ubi. So now if it comes back not Ubi, you're free to go ahead and install. And for some reason, if it doesn't, it's not applicable. So that's a good way for you to tell. It's fairly simple. Um, you can essentially apply it to everything. In most cases, you shouldn't have to worry about it for standard apps, but oftentimes folks will say, there's really no sequencing in the autopilot process. How can I be sure something runs or doesn't run? So this is a very easy way for the app to determine the state of the out-of-box experience as a requirement. Um, I'm gonna update the Toast solution with this. So the requirement will be up there. Feel free to use it for anything. And uh, let me know what you think in the Discord. We'll be seeing you.